Welcome back watch fans. Uh, I want to talk to you about the dangers of smart watches. Now, on the wrist, before we get into it, is the Audemars Piguet Royal Oak Day Date Moon Phase in two tone. The, the ideal combination. Now, some of you tomato cans are uh, commenting on on uh, the Colonel's videos, telling me how uh, how you prefer smart watches uh, to you know sort of like the Apple. What is it called? The smart watch, the iPhone, whatever they call it, the, the Apple Watch, the Samsung Watch, whatever it is. Okay, it's all the same. Now, it's all part of the Matrix. That's right. The Matrix wants to keep you plugged in. They want to keep you enslaved. Uh, to their um, their messages uh, and uh, for you to be part of their whole system. That's right. The, the Silicon Valley uh, masters are sending you messages when you wear your smart watch that are going into your system. Can you imagine this? Look, when you have something on your wrist, okay, when you wear a watch on your wrist, it's, it's on your body. It's actually, it's a very intimate connection. I'm gonna, this is a very serious topic. I, sometimes I joke around, but I think there's going to be some deep spiritual fundamental truths to what I'm telling you. Very profound here. Uh, I'm like the Bhagwan Rajneesh of, uh, of uh, watches. Now, look, when you have something uh, on your wrist, it has, a, it has a very intimate connection with your body, right? So when you wear a high energy, a high energy object like an Audemars Piguet Royal Oak, which is really probably one of the highest energy uh, things you can have on you, Far, even far better than a Rolex, believe it or not, or even Patek Philippe, that's right, the Audemars Piguet has a higher vibration. Uh, now, the Apple a smartwatch, whatever they call it, the iWatch, uh, that actually is uh, is very negative, okay, because uh, it is connected constantly to the hive mind of Silicon Valley, and what that means, my friends, is that... Um, you know they're sending you messages constantly. They are in touch with you. You're, it goes right into your through your central nervous system, right into your brain, and uh, you're basically slaves to that. Uh, you're slaves to that um, to that matrix when you are you know when you are wearing a smart watch rather than a mechanical watch. Okay. Now there is a lot of ramifications which I can't even go into this video because. You know the Matrix. Um, you know they, they don't want me to tell you this. They don't. They this is a secret. They do not want you to know. Okay. They want to keep you as slaves. They want to keep you uh, as part of their system. Uh, believe me. You need to unplug, unplug from the Matrix. Take the red pill. Buy yourself a two-tone watch. The two-tone watch, which is golden steel, is the uh, it, that, that is the ultimate proof that you are a free man that's right not wearing steel a uh, you know a rolex submariner a, you know the black submariner uh with steel that's that's basically just a step removed from uh an apple smartwatch. uh now trust me you do not want to have that uh you know i have actually had you know meetings with people who are wearing these smart watches and every 15 seconds you know, they're getting some sort of alert, they're getting some sort of, you know, n you know, notifications from their masters, uh, you know, I don't know, now, look, if you're, if you're a free man, what, what could be so urgent that you need to constantly be looking at your wrist for every notification, every message that comes to your watch, I mean, that is, that is the ultimate form of slavery, now, you know, uh, if, when I take a meeting, my phone is off. Okay, my phone is off. I don't. Even, sometimes I don't even bring my phone to the meeting. Okay, um, all I need is um, you know a piece of paper and a pen. Okay, that, that's all I need. Uh, you know, of course, uh, you know, I have a watch on me, but I do not need to have uh, you know notifications to be electronically connected and enslaved by, uh, you know, Tim Cook and, uh, you know, his uh, sodomite friends at uh, Apple, okay? Uh, these people are low lives and degenerates. Now, I actually happen to use a MacBook, an Apple product, uh, very happy with it. Um, you know, that's, uh, that's I mean, I don't really like, care for their other products, their iPhone or their other garbage, uh, but the MacBook, uh, the Apple is actually very good. Uh, now, uh, this video will probably be censored. I mean, the uh, the Matrix, the Matrix uh, at YouTube will uh, probably have this video censored. Uh, probably, 
going to try to, uh, you know, uh, have me eliminated from telling you the truth. Uh, because, uh, you know, they, they, they need to keep you as slaves. They need to keep you as slaves buying their products to keep you, your minds numbed, watching their stupid uh, propaganda on Netflix, you know, eating their, uh, their food. You know, they're, uh, you know, those uh, soy lint uh, drinks with the fake uh, soy and nutrition, whatever bullshit they try to give you, soy milk and other, you know, powdered food products um, because they want to keep you uh, numb, weak, and uh, enslaved. Now, what I suggest you do is, uh, if, you, if you're wearing a smartwatch, take a hammer, smash it, and... Uh, Pour lighter fluid on it and uh, set it on fire, and then uh, go and buy yourself a, a Audemars Piguet Royal Oak, uh, such as this, uh, used. Do not buy new because, uh, again, actually Audemars Piguet is part of the matrix as well. So you, know, you do not want to associate with the boutiques. You need to only buy used. That's right, buy used only because you know why. Uh, it's all about uh, uh, what do they call sustainability? Sustainability. That's right. It's all about sustainability and recycling. It's sustainability and recycling. You know that's why I'm drinking Fiji water. Uh, now I didn't buy this. This is actually a gift. I'm not going to be paying two dollars for a bottle of water, but this is the best water I've actually ever had. Bottled water, I should say. It really makes a huge difference. I mean, you really do taste the difference. It's very soft. But you know the best water I've ever drank in my life. Uh, now, there's two, in America, there's two good places for water. Uh, New York City actually has very good water right out of the tap because it comes from a good reservoir. And that's where the food uh, in New York restaurants tastes good because, um, you know, they use that water. Uh, now, uh, San Francisco also has very good water uh, because it comes from another good reservoir, right? Uh, it's interesting. You know, people in San Francisco are significantly more intelligent than people in Los Angeles. Why? It's probably the water. Uh, the water in L.A. comes from um, Lake Mead. Okay, it comes from, uh, you know, it's garbage water, basically. Uh, and people in New York are, are really much smarter than, you know, people, uh, I don't know, like in uh, Boston, let's say, or other areas. Uh, I, I don't know. It must be the water, right? Now, the other place I've actually had very good water was in Switzerland. Um, Lucerne. I was in Lucerne, and the water out of the tap is amazing. Even better than this Fiji bottled water, because, I mean, I don't know, some sort of mountain water from the lake. Unbelievable. Uh, Geneva has also good water. Not as good as the water from Lucerne. So, uh, what I would suggest you do is, uh, next time you go there, take a big, uh, you know, empty gallon thing of, uh, you know, plastic thing, and fill it up with water, put it in your luggage, and take it with you the water is amazing all right anyway knuckleheads uh leave your vicious comments below i'll see you on the next one make sure you subscribe to the channel i'm, I'm very close to having a thousand subscribers i can't wait to have a thousand subscribers that means that the channel will be monetized and i'll be raking in the big bucks i just had an appointment with uh, steve you know from the jet business and uh we're just trying to pick out the right the right uh aircraft uh to f you know for my needs uh, because look, there's I understand there's some serious considerations between you know luggage space, how many people, uh, distance. It's, it's a lot involved, a lot involved. But um, you know, Steve and I are having very in-depth conversations, and uh, hopefully um, the next video, as soon as we get to a thousand one subscribers, will be from uh, you know from the PJ, the PJ. All right, see you in the next one.